What's up guys, Zach Miner here for Rev3 Games, and in case you missed the Detoid show last week, Hitman Absolution now has a release date of November 20th, and it's got a pretty unique pre-order bonus, the Sniper Challenge, which we're going to talk about right now. Basically, it's somewhere between a demo and a minigame, where you play as 47 and you have to assassinate a CEO and his bodyguards from an adjacent rooftop using only the sniper rifle. On the surface, it seems kind of simple, but it's actually much deeper than it looks, with a ton of bonus challenges and pretty solid replayability. And perhaps most importantly of all, it bodes very well for the final game. So essentially, you have 20 minutes to take out the boss and his bodyguards during the rooftop party. And by the way, pro tip, if you're an evil CEO of a weapons manufacturing company, do not have a rooftop party. You're just asking to get your ass assassinated. Seriously. Now, of course, you could just shoot everyone immediately once the boss reveals himself, but that's not really what the Hitman games are about. It's about learning the guards' routines, taking them out silently, and trying to leave no trace behind. And IO Interactive has put in a ton of cool opportunities to help the player do that. Guards stand perilously close to rooftop ledges, they stare into koi ponds, and of course they walk under dangerous scaffolding. There's a ton of things that you won't notice the first couple times you play. Like for example, shooting the elevator control panel opens the elevator door, allowing you to shoot a guard who then ragdolls down the shaft. Completing the primary objective is pretty easy, but mastering it is going to take a lot of work. You get bonus points for headshots, hiding bodies, killing moving targets, and avoiding alarms. And of course the silent assassin designation is the ultimate target, but it is damn hard to pull off. There are also a ton of bonus side challenges. For example, shooting the guard down the elevator shaft is one of them. And there's also little stuff hidden within the level. For example, try to shoot all the gnomes and rubber ducks you find, and you'll get a score multiplier. And don't forget to shoot those pigeons either. They are extremely satisfying to blow up. As far as the gameplay goes, Controlling the sniper rifle is pretty simple, aside from the hair trigger. When you start to pull down on the right trigger, his aim kind of slows down, allowing you to pull off precise targets. Of course, you can't use that for too long, or the reticle will start bouncing around the screen. You can also enable instinct mode, which basically allows you to see the targets stand out from the rest of the civilians. It's something I didn't try to lean on too much, but it is pretty good if you get confused and you're trying to find that last bodyguard. There is a full set of leaderboards, so you can compare your scores to your friends as well as worldwide leaders, which will no doubt make you depressed. However, if it turns out you are a worldwide master assassin, you will be sent to Copenhagen to meet with the game's developers and get your face in the next Hitman game if you have the top score by the time the game launches. As I said earlier, it seemingly looks like a pretty limited Hitman experience, but there's a ton to do here. I've played through it several times already, and I still find myself going back, at least until I get that silent assassin challenge. And as Tara said on Friday's Zetoid show, it would really be great if publishers did more pre-order bonuses like this. You get to play part of the game well in advance of its release, and you get unlocks in the final game. It's the best of both worlds. And really, if every final game level is as detailed and intricate as this small little sampling, we are in for a treat. It's got that great addictive combo of easy to get into, very hard to master, that's worked well in some previous Hitman games, and it seems like IO has nailed it in this one. So starting today, you can get this through PSN and XBLA if you pre-order through GameStop. And if you're a PC user, you have to wait until August 1st when you can download it through Steam. We're going to have way more on Hitman at E3. So be sure you're subscribed to both here, youtube.com slash rev3games, and at youtube.com slash detoid. I'm Zach Miner, and I will see you next time.